Hey, I'm here in front of the Alaska Railroad Station. Getting ready to take my train ride from Anchorage down to Seward, Alaska for my cruise ship tomorrow. A lot of people are waiting in line for the cruise ship today. So I guess it should be plenty of time because you get here about 5.45 in the morning for a 6.45 train departure. And you get your pictures in front of this cool looking old steam train. And in the front, they got a moose scooper. Get the moose out of the way. I guess a moose can really damage a train. Hope I see some moose. I did see some moose. A lady shouted out moose on the left, but I didn't get my camera out in time. I saw a moose and two babies. And just a reminder, when you're taking the train from Anchorage to Seward, bring your bags to the white tent over there first before you get in line for your ticket inside the office. A lot of people try to carry big, huge bags and even some animal crates in the line. It makes things kind of crowded and confusing and awkward. Just a tip. Since the train station is in walking distance to the downtown hotels, I decided to take a walk down there the day before to make sure I was going in the right place and get a feel for the station. I found where to get my ticket, found where to get coffee and pastry, and to buy gifts in the gift shop. It's pretty cool there, and it does get busy, and it gets busy early. Okay, getting ready to get to my Gold Star train on the Alaska Railroad, heading to Seward, Alaska. The adventures continue. There's all kinds of different prices and fares, and you can either take the adventure class or what I took, the Gold Star service, and they offer a 20% military discount. Thank you, Alaska Railroad. You will have to climb some stairs to get to the observation seating deck. The dining area is below. And there is just enough room for your backpack. Mine's pretty stuffed and it fit under there. I was even able to put the footrest down and just rest it on top of the backpack. If you're unable to climb the stairs, I did see an elevator of some sort that allowed wheelchair access to get you up to the second story of the Gold Star train where you had those beautiful panoramic windows. It was amazing. My name is Reese and I will be one of your tour guides on board today. I am joined by my fellow tour guide Jason and Jeff. Thank you for joining us on the Gold Star train. The train staff was awesome. The tour guides, the bartenders, uh, everybody downstairs in dining. It was a great experience. I love this trip and I hope you will too. While the train is moving and gets faster, it will rock back and forth quite a bit. So in order to make sure that you don't fall down, we ask that you have three points of contact at all times. I'll actually tell you a little bit about our train today. In the front of the train, we have our two engines pulling us, as well as the baggage car behind those. These are off limits to all passengers today. Behind those, we have A and B car, which are our Gold Star cars. Car. Anyone can go to this cafe car and get some drinks or snacks throughout our journey today. With Gold Star service, dining is included. And since we left early in the morning, we got a free breakfast. They have eggs, they have uh, biscuits and gravy. They have a good selection. It was really good. Since I was traveling by myself, they did seat me with a young couple and their four-year-old daughter. They were very nice people. And had a great time chatting with them and looking out the window while we were eating our breakfast and looking at the beautiful Alaskan coastline of the Turnigan Arm. Great. At breakfast outside those big windows was great. Not quite as good as the views from the panoramic windows upstairs and definitely not as good as those views from the observation deck outside. Each car had two bathrooms downstairs. 
and they were very clean and very spacious. Since I was at the head of the train in the Gold Star Car A, I decided I'd go check out Gold Star Car B by climbing the staircase and going up to their observation deck, which also had panoramic windows that were beautiful. But their observation deck outside was amazing. I could see the whole train. I don't know if you saw it in that last clip, but we passed this beautiful river and I didn't have my camera ready in time. Kind of like a moose sighting that I missed earlier in the trip with a moose and her two babies following her down the street. It was cool. Now I did get a black bear on video coming up soon and a bunch of eagles. So stand by. There's a good tip for everybody that wants to take pictures and videos off the outside observation decks. Try to have some sort of a lanyard for your iPhone and your camera so they don't fall over the side. It gets pretty windy, and people get out there, and they bump up against each other, and the trains are rocking, so you want to protect your equipment. ...are actually seven feet underwater in ground with a pile of sediment on top, and it has been dumped there by the train. Now we know that this area actually dropped several feet in elevation. You can see some icebergs floating down the Placer River that have fallen off the Spencer Glacier you saw earlier in the video. As you've seen in other videos of mine, or if you haven't, I hope you will. I love going through tunnels with trains. Like 
Time to go see the bartender for a refreshing and spicy Bloody Mary. Uh, we are out of the bacon now. <laughs> in case you didn't see that, here's the bear in slow motion, standing in front of that group of trees in the center, and it's going to walk back into the brush. Beautiful. <laughs> Get ready for Eagle Valley. 
Look at all the eagles. Wow. About six hours after arriving at the Anchorage Depot for the Alaskan Railroad, there's the Seward Airport. What a great welcome we got to Seward by these campus. It was a fantastic journey. I loved it, especially going through the glaciers. And there's a ship in port. Well, not mine though, mine won't be there till the morning. So when you arrive at Seward, your baggage will be in that tent right there with the white uh, covering on it. And the shuttles for the hotels, and if you did know your hotel like I didn't, you could have them pick up your bag for you and deliver it right to your hotel. Now my bag, since I was the first one, one of the first ones at the train station, was one of the last ones off. Here's my bag, top shelf, first one I decided off. to walk since the hotel I picked was right downtown in the harbor, because I'd never been there before. And you'll pass the Tidewater Tap House Brewery, which is awesome. Also these cool little cars that used to be bike shops, but it's moved downtown, actually down to Center Harbor. And then you have a beautiful view of the harbor and the Harbor 360 Hotel, which is very popular, and my Breeze Inn Hotel, which is right there in the yellow. If you haven't already seen the video, check out my review on the Breeze Inn. We'll see you next time.